So we start blankets as usual. Extend your legs, shoulder, shoulder blades down, stand on up. Sides of the body long, shoulders down. Heels up, toes up. Back knee open, outer thighs, outer calf muscles, legs strong together. And go forward and right, then left. Outer feet under the knees, heels out, toes closer, shoulder, shoulder face down, abdomen. Stand them up, chin a little bit up. Sides of the body, knees and touch to the floor, you can push them a little bit more. And then take your palms together, keep extending. From sitting bones up, back neck low, lower to left. Press your lower palm, pads on the fingers, each thing, shoulders down. Three times only to make a deep breath. Turn your hands up to the shoulder level. Turn your palms out, opening biceps, inner elbow to the ceiling, and then only palms go in and slowly take your hands up. Shoulders down. Elbows straight, moving thumbs to the back wall, the fingers up. Knees and thighs to the floor, sides of the body long. Look straight. Or a chin a little bit up, shoulders down, stand up. With each inhale, try to extend the spine from the sitting bone to the top of it. Now turn your palms to the front, and then on exhale, slowly hands down. We'll change the cross of the legs. Heels out, toes up, legs together. And go forward, then left, then right. Shoulder, shoulder, blades down. Chin parallel to the Stay go down, abdomen in. Take your hands to the sides, palms up. <coughs> Palm more to the floor. But turn all your shoulders, biceps, inner elbows, everything up. And then slowly take your hands up, extend your sides of the body, elbows straight. Pull your fingers up to the ceiling and thumb to the back wall. Look straight throughout the legs. And again, on each inhale, try to extend up. And then turn your palms to the front. And on exhale, slowly hands down. Then extend your legs. We'll go down to the floor. And you will need your uh, chair. So what you will do, you will lay down next to the chair, putting your uh, side of the uh, side of the feet on the uh, on the chair, on, on the seat, on the edge. So your lower back is on the floor. If you need, you can put like under your head. If you have a rough edge, 
of the chair, the blanket on the chair. So from here, we'll stay here for a while, then taking leg to the side. Then again here and then other side. Okay, so first, if you are laying down, if you low back, sacrum, everything is in the you can take your sides of the uh, sides of the chair oh, off the mat, and then pull yourself towards the head direction, and then take the legs to the chair. Oh, actually, put the blanket because the metal chair has to go forward and, and drop. <laughs> And here, press your heels, press your pads under the toes. You can open your toes to the sides for a moment and then closing your toes and trying to press your toes to each other. Abdomen goes down, low back on the floor. Let your knees and thighs move to the sides. Shoulder blades on the floor. We'll take hands over the head. So you will take palms and uh, hands up, elbows straight, pushing uh, shoulder blade to the foot. And then slowly moving hands over the head. <coughs> moving arm to the floor, keeping sides of the body low. And try to press your outer feet to the chair, abdomen in. Throw it relax. Box it to the middle of the Then slowly hands up in front of you. And then bend your elbows, put them down on the floor or in the upper. So now we'll start taking the leg to the side. So uh, press the left leg as it was, and right leg, you take it to the side and extend. And try not to fall to the right side, but be in the center. For that, be strong on the left, left side of the body, left leg. Move your left side of the body to the floor, left shoulder blade. If you want, you can extend your hand to the left and try to extend right leg to the side. You can move it lower down unless you're keeping the uh, center of the body and your left hip is on the floor. Heel up, pad under the big toe up. And then bend the knee. And now other side. So pressing right side, you take leg to the left. Left leg to the left. I have a wall here so it doesn't go anywhere further. But uh, you try to go lower and keep inside of the body. Not falling too much to the left side, but be in the center. And press your right side of the body, right leg to the chair, right shoulder blade. You can extend your hand to the on the floor and press your palm to the floor. And then so bend the both legs in the chair. So now you take both legs down on the floor, and we'll try to catch our ankles. So you go, try to go with the hands maximum close to the heels. If you're not catching ankles, you can catch your thighs here, but under the buttocks muscle. So we are walking with the shoulders a little bit closer to the, uh, to the heels and trying to catch it from underneath. 
our feet are together. So feet are together in Vashakasa. We are trying to get to catch your other ankles. Here you can use uh, the valve as well, but I don't know if you have it next to you. If you have the valve, then you can do it together. Feet together. Then lifting, fix. And but the belts have to be maximum short that you're almost catching the ankles. You're extending your sacrum to the heels. Shoulder blade moving up away from the floor. And pressing your feet to each other's strong. Oxic to the typical. And moving sacral to the heels. Throw to relax. Back neck long. Your arms you are pushing to the floor. Shoulders pushing to the floor. And shoulder blades you are moving them in to open the chest more. Press your toes to each other, press your center of the heel. And now slowly take your hands out and place your shoulder blades on the floor. But keep your feet still together. Abdomen in. You can put your hands on the abdomen or on each side. Now we'll take legs from the top. So you're catching ankles here. And we will take legs to the sides again. Here, the baby, you are holding ankle and trying to extend leg to the side, or you can try to catch your thumb with the index finger and the, the middle finger, and then you're closing with the uh, um, you're closing with the toe, and then taking leg to the side. <coughs> and as a leg, you're holding on ankle. And you can try to be in the center, not to fall to the side, pushing your heel up and moving right shoulder blade to the floor. Try to open back knee and heel out. And back to the center, other side, and catch your. Uh, uh, close, close, and take legs. The right side of the body, move it down to the floor. Left shoulder blade to the floor. Try to be in the center. Try to keep your side of the body equally long. Push your heel out. And try to open back knee. Let your inner thigh open. Abdomen in. And then bend the knee. You can take your feet together. Press your feet. Heels far under the toes. Toes. Shoulders down. <coughs> Now we'll take two legs to the side, so either you're holding on ankles and extending, or trying to catch the yeah. big toes and take them to the side. Shoulders down, and try not to lift your <coughs> lower back and sacrum. Try 
Try to push your heels out from sides, pull your kneecaps through the pelvis. And then again, bend your knees, catch your ankles, press your feet to each other, pressing your feet. And then start to put your legs down to the floor, hands to the side. Out the feet, try to press to the floor, and then relax. Throw it, relax. Relax again. Hands and legs. And then slowly put your knees together and slowly turn to the side. Now come up. So you will sit on the back of here. But if you have your belt next to you, it will be good. Okay. So first, we'll sit in butter canasta, feet together. Stand up. Take your belt here. Or take one of the hands close. Here you can also catch with the big toes. Stand up. Shoulders down. Center of the heel, bad and good. Rotate the legs to the sides, Rodish to Kanasa. Pressing back leg to the floor, staying heels. To the floor, heels out, toes up. Stand up. Try to lift everything from the bottom of the pelvis, everything up. Pressing legs down to the floor, pulling your front legs. Move to twist here. So first to the left side, right hand in, uh, in the middle, left hand behind your back, and twist. Pressing your legs down to the floor, shoulders down, stand them up, chin a little bit up. And the other side, left. Shoulders down and pressing legs to the floor, shoulders down. Then from the bottom of the pelvis, everything up. We'll take belt. Then bend. So you will twist again to the left side. And then go slightly forward. Elbow, elbows bend it to the side, and we'll move right side of the body more forward. So first, you can keep your hands straight and twist more to the left side, but pressing your right leg, pressing your right sitting bone, and then going forward, taking about shorter or bending elbows and moving right side of the body more down. And don't go in too deep twist uh, and do too deep bend, just bend it uh, look down. Throw it relaxed. Pushing legs down to the floor, toes up. Good. 
and this will come up back to the center. As I put the right click that you can twist before going to the forward bend. It twists a little bit that you be able to move your left side of the body more forward. And then go to slowly. Press your left leg to the floor, left sitting bone to the floor, elbows to the side. Move your left side of the body past the floor, shoulders away from And we slowly come up. Move back to the front, legs, put your knees, to the feet together. One more time, and back to us. Next. Breathe for a few moments. And we come up. Or take chairs. So I'll go to <coughs> downward facing dog. Slowly. Then we'll come closer and rest the uh, forehead on the chair. So take the sides of the chair, shoulders down, step back. Maximum floor, shoulders away from the ears, stand on foot. Extend your top of the head towards the chair. Look down. Push your thighs back and try to extend your sides of the foot. Try to press your heels to the floor. Elbows straight, shoulders away from the ears, stand forward. And then slowly go straight forward and rest your forehead on the chair, elbows to the side. You can stand your legs wider. Relax your throat, relax your face. Shifting more weight through the front, through the clothes. Elbows to the sides, throat relaxed. Next one, come up. The double stick legs wide. So we will go forward again. The first will extend hands on the chair. We try to keep hip, heel, and knee uh, on one leg. Extend forward, and then we'll go down. Again, relax head on the chair. And you can turn to the front legs are like one meter twenty five toes in, sacrum down, elbows to the side, elbows back, stand forward, chin up, and then go forward. And then you can take the Side of the chair, then extend slowly your hands on the chair. 
keeping your sides of the body low. Try not to shift your hips too much back or too much forward. Try to find if you can move, try to move back and forward to find this balance here. Heel, knee, and the hip. And then extend your hands. Maximum wide on the back of the chair. Look down and move top of the head towards the hand, towards the fingers. Sides of the body long, abdomen in. Throw it relax. Press your legs to the floor. And then slowly bend your elbows and relax it. Forehead on the hands on the chair. Try to not uh, taking your shoulders up and rolling your, your rolling your back. Try to keep your back straight and just extending lightly forward. Throughout your back, back neck low. Press your outer feet to the floor, press your toes to the floor, and go we'll slowly. Extend your elbow, slowly put your feet together. Back, relax your leg. Now, turn the chair to uh, the back of the chair to the front. I'll put you in the So, hold it to the right first. Right toes are right 30 centimeters away from the chair. You open your front leg. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So, I will bend your front leg. Then going forward, put your elbow on the chair and hand uh, catching. But if you, you have close to your hips, then you are taking hand and grabbing from here. And then you are extending your leg. You turn the uh, abdomen to the front. So it's a bit more. Okay. Then slowly putting leg maximum far. So, I hope you are ready. So, right toes to the chair, bend the leg, shifting the weight more to the front, slowly taking the back leg closer, and then press your elbow to the seat, catching the back of the chair, and leg. Press your toes to the floor of the back leg, so the down leg, and up, leg, heel up. And then start moving your abdomen from the right to the left, opening the chest to the front. Hand forward to the chair, back neck up. And with the heel, you are trying to extend your side of the body. Lay down, pull your knee up. Throughout your legs, shoulders away from the feet. And then slowly bend the right leg and slowly put leg maximum part. And come up. Other side. So now left leg. Bend the knee, go forward, elbow on the floor, open the chair, and catch the seat, catch the back, and come up. Pressing your toes with the left leg to the floor, 
moving your knee up and keeping your leg straight. Right leg, heel up. And start moving your abdomen from the left to the right, opening the chest, shoulders away from you. Look straight. Leg on the floor is strong. Press your heel, press your toes to the and upper leg to the heel, you are pulling all the side of the body. Abdomen in. And as you bend your knee, put your right leg maximum far and slowly come up. Put it here once again to come. And extend. Now you can take legs wider than before. And again, we'll go forward with the hands on the chair and then going down. So, first extend legs wide, press your toes. But toes are in, yes, your outer feet are parallel to each other. Same from down, after the elbows back. Feet up. The uh, hands are moving your buttocks muscles down. And then you go forward. And first you grab the chair and then extend your hands forward. And then look down. Try to find balance. Heel, hip, and knee. One leg. Sides of the body. And let's go. go down and rest your forehead on the hands or on the chair. But keep your legs still active. Shoulders away from you. And then slowly extend your elbow, slowly put your feet together, and come up. So go back to the floor. Go take the blanket to sit on. First, was it Parishna Kandrasana, legs wide? Then we will take one leg bend. <coughs> extend here, twist, and then we will extend to the chair. Try to rest our forehead on the chair. But first, we start Parishta Kanasana. If you have the if you have the blanket like I do, or towel where you can have a corner, then better to sit that your sitting bones are on the on the blanket, and you have angle here coming up. Then your Back sides are free, and you can extend your legs more easily. And your muscles are not stuck on the back. Heels out, toe down. Sides of the body. And now bend your right leg. So we'll go to the left side. And opening the back of the knee, half muscles moving. Up and then taking leg closer, heel up. Try to press your toes and small toe, big toe to the floor and extend. The left leg, heel out, 
back knee. As you can picture, stand up. First to back to block the knee with the hand and do twist. So we are blocking the knee, putting the hand maximum close and then twist. You're moving your knee to the floor and twist. Left leg extended, moving your back leg to the floor. Stand up. And then you fixed your right knee and now take your hands on the chair, moving your right side of the body more forward. Press your left leg to the floor and pull your knee up. Try to rotate yourself a little bit more, but don't, don't let your right knee to follow. It is fixed on the floor. And then slowly start going forward. You can catch your chair more far, elbows to the sides, and then slowly move forehead to the chair. You can put your hands on the chair. Throw out to that. Shoulders away from the chair. And trying to move your right side of the body more forward. Right ribs more forward. And pressing your right toes to the floor. Left leg, moving leg to the floor. Back knee to the floor, heel out. And then slowly come up. We'll shift the chair first. And then the next one. Stand up, shoulders down, and down back. Left leg, again, opening back knee, moving your calf muscles out, and taking the leg closer, turning your heel up, and pressing your toes to the floor. The left, right leg, heel up, toes up, and moving back of the leg. And first, extend up, stand up, sacrum down. You twist with the left hand, you are locking the knee and twist. Right hand behind your back and twist. Move your left knee to the floor and stand up, shoulders down. Move your left side of the body more forward and right leg down to the feet. And then you catch the chair, continue to move left side of the body forward, go forward with the chest, and then rest your head on the chair. Shoulders away from the ears, press your leg to the floor, back knee open. Go to last. Right leg, press it down to the floor. Left leg, toes to the floor. Knee moving to the floor and try <coughs> not to move it. Continue to move your left side of the body move forward. And then slowly come up. Here. 
extend both legs to the sides, spin them up. You bend your feet with the legs in particular, spin up, shoulders down. Now, you sit for a moment in the same position, and you can. I will place the chair behind my back. Here I will sit the thing in front of the So make the smaller. So here, so sit again in front of the trying to put the chair closer, feet together. So first, I will take my hands behind. Elbows closer to the chair. In fact, if my chair is a little low, it, the best would be if your chair is on the lower shoulder blades. But it's okay. Also. So, first, we are standing up and uh, feet together. And then we'll try to take hands over the head and take the chair on this moving standing up. Okay. So now come up and place the chair behind your back, feet together. But if you cannot catch your chair here, so you just try to extend your hands up. Okay. And if you will catch the chair, then you move elbows closer. That we have this automatic move that our elbows are moving to the side. We will try to move our elbows to the ears, working with the outer hand to hold your hands more compact and keep your elbows shoulder wide. Okay, so I hope you're all sitting now. Feet together, heels, hands under the toes, toes together. Stay in front. At first, we can catch lower uh, legs of the chair, stand up, press your toes, abdomen in, take them down to the foot, stand them up. Move your elbows to the chair, look a little bit up. Moving shoulder blades in away from the chair. Feet together, elbows closer to the chair. Stand up. Look a little bit up. Chin a little bit up. And now find the upper chair. But you can keep it also on the side of the uh, uh, back of the chair to hide. And then move elbows closer to each other. You keep them shoulder wide. Stand them up. Shoulders down. Continue to move your shoulder blades in away from the chair. Elbows closed. Look a little bit up. Feet together strong. Arms in. Sides of the body long. And then slowly take your hands down. Again on the legs of the chair. Maybe you can take the back legs of the chair. But stand up. Feet together. And then slowly down. And front legs of the chair. Get moving elbows closer. And then slowly come up. We try to keep this extension of the spine. Stand up. Take leg, hands to the sides and palms up. 
and hands up. Press your legs to touch the floor. Then let's hands down. Catch your feet. We'll go forward, step forward if you need. Pressing feet to each other, extend forward, shoulders away from you. Box it to the feet of both abdomen in, and then put your hands on the floor, the shoulder wide or wider, shoulders away from the ear, and try to walk with your hands more forward. Look down, throw it to left. Moving your knees down to the floor. Look down. Abdomen. Try to move your sacrum down to the floor, buttocks muscles down to the floor. Try to extend your lower back. And slowly go straight. Now extend your legs. Forward, heels out, and the toes out. Opening your back. Let's move down. So now, and try to place your blanket. A little bit of the mat. You have two blankets there and one on the top of the other. Okay, so for me, it is. Very long, the floor may be not so long. So, to go down to the floor, but it's important that your head is on the support. That if your, uh, your blankets are short, then it will be only on uh, upper back and head. So, feet together, say from down. Move your coccyx. To the pubic bone and stay come closer to the heel. And then slowly go down. Back neck long. That you can lift your <laughs> lift your back back of the head and go down. <laughs> you can lift your hips once again. Moving coccyx to the pivot point. Press your feet strong together. <coughs> so we'll take now hands over the head. Take hands up, moving shoulders down to the floor, sides of the body. <coughs> and then taking hands over. Moving thumbs to the floor. <coughs> then you will turn your palms to the floor and moving back of your hand to the floor. <coughs> oh, So you continue back of the head to the floor. And then take again palms facing each other, and then try to move your uh, palms to the floor. Then take your small finger to the floor. But you can take your hands wider. And then again, 
palms facing each other, shoulder together. Then we're going to take our hands up, slowly put your hands down on the floor, and then slowly come up, put your hands, your chin closer to the chest, and slowly come up. Extend your leg. And now we'll go to Shavasana. So uh, you can put, we can do it on the chair, on the legs of the chair again. And as we started. And the uh, other blanket you'll put under the head. So you will lay down. First, again, placing your outer feet to the chair. You will go down, press it for a while, and then you will extend. And then you will extend your legs inside the chair. First, you stay here. So press your feet strong, heels, pads under the toes. Toes, knees and thighs, let them fall to the side. Abdomen in, lower back, long shoulders, uh, shoulder blades down to the foot. You can rest your hands on abdomen and relax it. Relaxing your breath. And then slowly put your feet together and move them inside the chair. and try to relax completely. Relax all your muscles from the feet to the top of your head. Relax your toes, heels, ankles. Relax your calf muscles, knees and thighs. Relax your abdomen lower back sides of the body move it down to the floor relax your chest upper back relax your shoulders arms forearms wrist Palm, relax the center of the palm and all the fingers. From the small finger to the thumb. Relax your back neck, throat. Swallow if you need to relax your throat a little more.
and then relax your face. All the muscles on your face. Chin, cheeks, forehead. Relax skin on the back of your head. Skin around your ears. Relax your eye lips and deepen your eyes. Look down inside yourself and find your breath. And start following your breath. Each inhale and exhale. You are noticing your thoughts, sounds around you, feelings. But try to concentrate for a few moments on your breath. <clears throat> Try to follow each inhale and exhale. And every time your mind is flying away, you're taking it back to your breath. Be with your breath. And next inhale, make a deep, deep inhale and exhale. And then start moving your fingers and toes. And then you stretch your hands over the head, stretch your legs, maybe take them up on the chair. And then slowly take your knees to the chest <coughs> and slowly turn to the side and cannot come. <coughs> 